All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 3 plus x equals 10. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 10 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite negative 10 as negative 8 minus 2. And negative 8, this is the same thing as negative 2 to the power of 3 minus 2. So now I'm going to change the order real quick. I'm going to rewrite this as x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this is going to change to x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. This is equal to 0. Now, this gives me two equations. I have x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I have x squared plus 2x plus 4. And actually, before that, Remember how we have, we have this plus x minus 2 is equal to 0. So now if I factor out x minus 2, I get x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 0. Now I have x minus 2 is equal to 0. And I have x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. So for x minus 2 equals 0, x is obviously equal to 2. So that's one solution. And for x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 2, and c is 5. So I have negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared, which is 4 minus 4 times 1 times 5, all over 2 times 1. Now this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20, which is negative 16 over 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 16i over 2, which is negative 2 plus or minus 4i over 2, which is negative 1 plus or minus 2i. So these are my three solutions to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of x plus 3. So to solve this, I'm going to first take log on both sides. So I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 3 to the power of x plus 3. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I can move x to the front for log 2 to the power of x and x plus 3 to the front for log 3. So now I have x times log 2 is equal to x plus 3 times log 3. Now if I distribute log 3, I get x times log 2 is equal to x log 3 plus 3 log 3. Now I'm going to subtract x times log 3 on both sides. So these two cancel out, and I get x log 2 minus x log 3 is equal to 3 log 3. Now if I factor out x, I get x times log 2 minus log 3 is equal to 3 log 3. Now I can divide both sides by log 2 minus log 3.
So I get x is equal to 3 log 3 over log 2 minus log 3. Now I can rewrite this as 3 log 3 over log 2 minus 3 log 3 over log 3. So then these two cancel out. And I get 3 log 3 over log 2 minus 3. Now log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771 and log 2 is equal to 0 0.3010 so this is equal to 1.4313 over 0 0.3010 and that is equal to Four point seven five five. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of three equals one. So I'm going to first start by taking the cube root on both sides. So I have the cube root of x to the power of three, which is x, and the cube root of one, which is simply equal to one. So we already have one solution of x. Now, I'm going to get more solutions. So this time I'm actually going to subtract one on both sides. So I get x to the power of 3 minus 1 is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So in this case, this is going to equal x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1, which is equal to 0. And this gives me two equations. I get x minus 1 equals 0, and x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. So for x minus 1 equals 0, we get x equals 1, which we already got before. And for x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0, we can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 1, c is 1. So get x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 all over 2 times 1. This is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. And square root of negative 3, this is the same thing as the square root of 3 times the square root of negative 1. And if you guys already didn't know, the imaginary number i is equal to square root of negative 1. So I get the square root of 3i. So this is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 3i over 2. So these are actually our three solutions of x. We have x is equal to 1, x is equal to negative 1 plus the square root of 3i over 2, and x is equal to negative 1 minus the square root of 3i over 2.